I became a Sigma Rho in the fall of 1960, and it was because of some of the, my good friends whom I admired tremendously, who were a great a, a year ahead of me in college, and my friends and I became uh, Sigma Rho's. Of course, making music is uh, it's a large group of students who can uh, uh, work together for a common goal and a common purpose, and they do it with. Uh, many times a lot of distractions, and yet Sigma Rho uh, members have historically uh, been the winners of making music. So I'm amazed when I go in and see all the shows, but I am even further amazed when I see what Sigma Rho has done. Out of the 38 years, 19 years have been won by Sigma Rho, and to me that's rather phenomenal. I actually wasn't even in Sigma Rho when I was in school. I was asked to be the faculty sponsor for Sigma Rho's Dominican trip. Um, I, I really didn't know what to expect and uh, then I got there and saw that Sigma Rho, the students of Sigma Rho, are just some of the, the, the hardest working students on campus. We had a great week in the Dominican and on the, on the plane ride back home a bunch of us were chitty chatting and next thing I know, they'd all gathered around and asked me uh, to be the sponsor. So we hadn't even made it back to the U.S. yet. And here I am being asked to be the Sigma Rho sponsor. And of course I said yes. It was such a wonderful week. Uh, I would be happy to help serve these kids in any way. Sigma Rho is a family. I came to Free in the fall of 2003. And I was excited because my brother was here. He'd been the president the, the previous year. And uh, it was just kind of understood that I would join Sigma Rho. I knew a lot about Freed Hardeman. I grew up coming to Mid-South in basketball camp, but um, when, when my brother got here, I knew that I wanted to be in Sigma Rho and I couldn't wait to meet the people, play sports, get involved in everything. Um, in the Dominican, there's a children's home there and they, have, they can have up to about 30 children there. And all the, all the children there have to have a sponsor. And those sponsors will typically come from families or individuals that have gone to the Dominican, fall in love with the kid and say, you know, I want to I help make this kid's life better. And uh, Sigma Rho, a couple years ago, decided that they wanted to do that. And they've had the opportunity for the last couple years to sponsor uh, a little boy named Christian. And this past spring break, it was awesome because we were able to give Christian a Sigma Rho t-shirt. And all of Sigma Rho stood around him. Christian was down there with 26, of, uh, 26 students that were now his brothers and sisters. And it was just awesome to see the smile on his face and him wearing that, the EP on his chest with pride. It was uh, a day that I'll never forget. Sigma Rho has led this campus in a legacy of greatness for the last century. And will continue to do so. And it's who we are. It's who we are. It's who we are.